everybody, it's me, Jay We're coming out to another uh, video. It's been a really long time since I've done one of these, but now I've got something to talk about. So we're doing, it's finally back, we're doing a What Bothers Me episode. It's been a really long time since um, I've had a What Bothers Me or something to talk about on a What Bothers Me, but I finally have at least a little bit of a thing that I want to rant about and something that I personally think at least some of my viewers might relate on, especially my fellow females, you know, any girls that, you know, might, that might watch my channel. Um, so today I want to talk about something that, that I feel like a lot of females can, uh, bond together over, which is beauty. And, um, one of these things now... You guys know by now I'm not a girly girl at all. I never do anything with my hair or makeup wise, any of that type of stuff. But a few weeks ago I went on vacation. Uh, you saw the videos. If you haven't seen the collages, you know, go check those out uh, on my channel. Um, we were going on this like dinner cruise type of thing and um, for... The vacation I decided to get my nails done obviously the nail polish is gone now but it was a gel manicure and pedicure to you know so it was like better than normal just everyday polish now I initially said you know before I left on vacation about how I really liked it and how I really liked the look and the feel so I'm updating you on that video I have changed my tune. I no longer, as nice as and as beautiful as they might have looked, man, were they a pain in the ass to get taken off. Now, with gel manicure, apparently, I don't know if I was using the wrong nail polish remover. I would think all nail polish remover is the same. I used both with and without acetone, and it did not come off. So, uh, eventually, I went to the nail salon around the corner from my house the other day, and I had to, I wanted it taken off. So, I was like, oh, can I get it taken off? And they were like, yeah, go ahead. And it was part of the thing where I got a new color on top of it. So, I was able to pick something. I was going to pick normal polish. I never do gel polish again, and that's what this video is about. Ladies, if you're listening, never do gel polish on your nails now you might think it looks nice you might think it's worth it you might think oh it lasts longer than normal polish i will tell you right here and now it is not worth a neither the money or the pain that it is required to get it to to get it so because gel polish is more expensive than normal polish, which is fine. I'm okay with paying a little bit top or dollar if it'll last me a little bit longer than normal polish. But my main complaint is the pain of which, you know, it has, did you have to go through to get your, to get the polish taken off. Now, I have, you guys also probably know by now, I have very sensitive skin. Like, very sensitive skin. The slightest paper cut, the slightest knock into a table, I'll be bleeding and bruising for from here to next week. That's just how I am. So when I had to get my nail polish removed, this was no exception. So they put, um you know, the nail polish remover on my nails, and then they wrapped it in tin foil, and then they put it in gloves for a half hour. Now, eventually, just FYI, this starts to sting. It didn't start stinging until, like, maybe five or ten minutes before they took it off, but it still, it does irritate your fingers. Let's just say that. And not only that, they have to use a little wand. Let's just say that. It's a wand, and it has a little sander on it that goes like on your fingers. And obviously they, they're buzzing my toes, and they're, you know, they're, you know, they're buzzing it, and obviously. So, that's the part that hurts the most, because obviously if they don't go on your nail, if they buzz on the physical 
toe skin, obviously you have very similar feeling to road rash or like a very bad skinned knee or even it kind of burns like it feels like you like dipped your toe in like like really really scalding hot water or like you know you burned your toe on like something of you know heat obviously i have now for the normal person it would be oh maybe it'll bother me for a few minutes whatever me on the other hand it causes some serious reactions. Now, I'm not saying I, like, broke out in a major bruise, but obviously I was in pain for the following, like, day and a half. For the tiniest little cut. Now, I know not every woman is going to be like this, but I'm saying for the women who are, who are like me, who have glass bones and paper skin, that I don't know if it's worth it to put ourselves through this pain of what's expected of us of like beauty and whatever and just to saying they didn't use that little sander on my fingers they used this little like scrapey thing like this little like tool not that that hurt but it scraped my nails raw you can't tell right now because just camera but also my fingernails look crappy anyway because i've been painting all day but the feel of it is so bad. Like, it feels rough and bumpy. Like, it kind of feels like... You ever, like, mess around with hodgepodge or glue and it, like, gets on your fingernails and it's just rough and, like, uncomfortable? It's just not fun. And it just looks crap. Because, you know, originally I did have color on this. I have the color on my toes. It's this, like, nice glittery dark blue. And I had it on both my hands and my fingers. Now, I got both of them done. And five minutes, obviously due to my my luck, you know, I paid the $40 to get this done. And five seconds later, on my way home, it's literally right around the corner from my house. Five seconds later, halfway home, like four of my fingers on my left hand are messed up. This side of my thumb, oh, the nailish was the nail polish was completely wiped off, and the three here were completely smudged, and it looked like crap. And then it wasn't much better on the other hand. So, obviously, this was a problem. Now I had the choice. I don't have nail polish in my house, so I had to make a choice: either leave it and be ridiculed and be like, "Oh, your nails look like schnaisa," or make what I feel like was the smarter option and take it off and just have it where my fingers and my toes don't match. Obviously, I'm very upset at this because I paid a lot of money and it didn't last even 10 minutes out the door. But it's also the fact of, I don't, again, I don't see the appeal of, now there are women who do much worse to their nails. Obviously, there's women who get really long dragon nail aesthetic you know acrylics and they get like i seen ones where you could get like a piercing in your nail i don't even want to know how that works but i'm just saying i'm personally not a person who gets treated like this i don't usually get my nails done my hair done like i don't usually do those special things for myself because i'm not that girly but even just because i just don't see the appeal when it's like I could buy a, a bottle of nail polish and do it at home for free. So I just don't get why we do it as women and why we're expected to do it as women. It's like, oh, if you don't have this, 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 and this right, you're not a real woman or you're not like a real, like you don't expunge femininity. Like, I'll tell you what, I would say a lot of people... Don't care what goes on your nails. I mean, most people don't even notice it anyway. I mean, most people, when they get their nails, they're trying. So they're do, they have like nail hands, you know, it's like, oh my gosh, I can't believe they're show. It's like when you have like a friend who's engaged and they're like constantly showing the ring hand. They're like, oh, I can't. Oh, like they're constantly like showing the ring. It's the same thing. You're trying to bring attention to something that nobody would notice unless you 
pretty much shout at them, Hey, look at my nails! Or, Hey, look at this thing! Like, you know, I don't get those, like, rules of, like, Oh, that women have to, like, you know, follow certain, like, things of, like, yeah, that's what makes you a girl. Like, I personally, you know, something I go through a lot is the whole, oh, I don't have long, flowing, feminine hair like a lot of women do in social media, in just media in general. So, obviously, maybe me, I don't technically scream femininity because I have tomboyish hair but it's just one of those things where it's like hey I like it I like myself without makeup I don't think you need it on the everyday and I don't think we have to follow these rules of beauty to have other people like us the real people who like you just as you are those are the people or that are gonna stick by you no matter what and those are your true friends but yeah just I didn't enjoy this and it caused me a lot of pain like uh, you know when I got my nails done the first time even with the gel manicure the lady actually cut me pretty bad like she was cutting my cuticles and she pretty much ripped not ripped but like she cut this side and was bleeding so bad. And the thing is, it seems like when they do these things, they kind of just leave it. They're, like, kind of trying so hard to ignore it. They're trying so hard to, like, not acknowledge that they messed up. And that's the thing. Just own up be like, oh, no, I accidentally cut you. Let me... And that antiseptic stuff, the stuff that to help you stop bleeding. Oh, my God, does that sting? I can't even, like, it stings so bad. And I just just not fun you know I'd rather I think from now on I'm just gonna if I do ever want to do something special for my nails I'm just gonna do it at home but I just don't see the appeal of us having to force ourselves to go through this uncomfortable nature at least I find it uncomfortable my skin obviously may be very sensitive you know where maybe I just I'm not meant to do these types of things, but I'm just trying to appeal to those girls who might be like me. Or even guys who, uh, if you guys want to get their nails done, I'm not, go ahead, get your nails done. I'm not trying to make it a gender thing, but I'm just saying that whoever gets their nails done, you know, just be sure that, like, you're being taken care of like you should. Just make sure they're not seriously injuring you and messing up your hands and nails and make sure you get your value of a dollar. That's all I'm saying. But uh, that's a, that wraps up this video of what bothers me. If you want to see me, if you want to hear me rant about anything else, write down in the comments, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.